Hello, this is Matt Krause, and welcome to today's edition of English Bites. Today, the headline that I wanted to draw your attention to is this one, Lies over downing of aircraft shake Iran's trust in its rulers. And I wanted to call your attention in particular to this vocabulary word, shake, to shake the trust in its rulers. And to shake, you probably know this word, it's a fairly common word, but I wanted to point out one particular meaning that they have here, and that is to weaken the foundations of something, uh, to disrupt or attack the foundations of something, to weaken the foundations of something. So this headline could just as easily read, lies over downing of aircraft, weaken the foundations of Iran's trust in its rulers. And in this case, Financial Times probably chose the word shake just because of space constraints. You know, it's it shake is only a few letters to weaken the foundations of. That's a long phrase. And so uh, the, the more precise phrase is to weaken the foundations of something. To shake is a more casual and therefore more difficult to use correctly word. Uh, one example that you might use, uh, the, probably the safest example, uh, would be if you are using this word to describe, for example, the effect on your business um, or the effect on your customer satisfaction. For example, uh, the bad economy is shaking our customers' trust in our business. So stick to, because this is a difficult word to use well, when you use it, uh, stick to the safer uses, to shake someone's confidence in something, to shake someone's trust in something. 